Hello and welcome to Little Sue. So it is having fun making jewellery collaboration and we are in the month of April and April is yellow and option one is try a new technique and option two is summer or flower themed. So I didn't do option one um just because I'm still waiting on quite a lot of stuff coming from AliExpress. Uh, I haven't received my eye pins from January. And I haven't received my jump rings <laughs> from January as well. So I'm still waiting on them coming in. But it is yellow. And I pulled out my yellow ribbon. Because you know I like using my ribbons. And I pulled out my yellow beads. Now, I don't have an awful lot of yellow. Mainly because yellow's my least favourite colour. I'm not a big fan of yellow. So, I did have a little bit of problems this month. I struggled quite a bit for motivation with this one. But I got my little spacer beads that came off of something which you will see in a minute uh, I did receive my big massive lobster clasps lobster clasps and they are really big I was quite surprised when they came so I'm actually really really happy with these so I've got quite a few now so what did I make? If we just move all of this out the way. So the first thing I made, because I'm actually filming this on Easter Sunday, um, I decided to make a little Easter charm. So I used one of my bunny charms that I received, the my ribbon and spacer beads, I also have this beautiful glass bead and it's got orange and a sort of palish blue dot going through it. So it's a yellow bead with orange and a palish blue, which is beautiful. I don't know if the camera's picking it up okay. Um, and yeah, one of the big lobster clasps. So that was the first thing I made. And the second thing I made is quite big actually, well it's not big, it's quite full for me. So, it is this. So, yeah again, this is this will be like a charm for on a pocket letter or something. I've used a flower charm up the top here. I've got, I found some more of these little, little beads with like, what looks like an eye on it. Um, I've had quite a few of these in different colours, so I was quite happy to find yellow ones in them because I don't have an awful lot of beads. So I did use them in here. Now these beautiful beads here, actually I received these from my Secret Santa Christmas swap. And it's these ones here, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I actually forgot I had these. <laughs> so when I was hunting for yellow beads, I was really happy to find them. So I've used two of them on here. And this I actually received out of Christmas Cracker. It's just a big massive gem thing. I've put an E on here, um, just because it's Easter, I thought E for Easter just now, until I find out who the recipient will actually be of this one. But it's quite big and chunky. Well, for me this is. <laughs> I know there's people out there who make these all the time and absolutely have masses amounts of beads on theirs, but I don't, I've only got a small collection of beads, so... I can't do masses amounts. But that is my second charm right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you and I'll zoom you in. 
so that is my make for April. Please go over and check everybody else out. They will be linked down in the description box below. We all make completely different things. Um, like I say, most of the time, I think I'm the only one who makes pocket letter charms and that. Uh, a lot of the ladies make these beautiful jewellery sets. Please go and check them out. Um, subscribe to them if you're not already subscribed. And thank you so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.